that night, Lauren and I had uh, gone to church together. Normally, we were going as a family, and Jeff was sick that night. And our plans are normally just to go to someone's house after, go out to eat or whatever. And we went to our friend's house that live on an airport. And, um, you know, it was just kind of a um, recreational thing that they did is flew planes. They were going up to look at Christmas lights. It was December 3rd. And, um, you know, I'm just standing in the house and, and half the people were outside and, I, and half of us were inside. There were probably eight or 10 of us, I don't even remember. And someone came running in uh, very quickly and just said, Lauren's been hit by the propeller. And I didn't even know what they were saying at first. I, I just stood there and I thought, propeller? How do you get hit by a propeller? And so, I, I couldn't move for a second. I know I must have been in shock. And um, so I, I ran outside and, um, you know, I could see her laying there. And she was face down. Um, she was in a pool of blood. Um, she wasn't moving at that point. And I couldn't see, um, I couldn't see all the injuries uh, because she was face down. And so I just, I mean, what do you do? I, you know, I, all I had was Jesus at that moment. Um, and so I just got down on my knees and I put my hand on her and I, I kind of felt up near her forehead and I pulled my hand back and it was full of blood. And so I just said, Lord, you know, I don't know if she's alive or dead or what. And so <laughs> it was awesome because she started to make noise and she started to just um, kind of yell and sigh. And um, I knew at that moment, even though I didn't know everything that was going on uh, with her, God gave me such a peace at that moment. It's just a miracle to me now um, that she was gonna be okay.